Welcome to today's finds. We had some beautiful opals on the left and agates on the right. I kind of had the cycle of every color I've seen come out of this area. The green is the most rare, the green opal. And carnelian opal is kind of common, not as common as the uh, carnelian agate. The purple agate is very rare. There's only one little spot. It's like the size of a basketball court. And the black agate I've pretty much picked out. No, it's white. <laughs> so there, there we have a few of the purple ones. I would say that's kind of a key find to get a scene like that going on. Get people really excited. Just thought that finding one lighter one would be nice. Now the carnelian opals, we did really well with these. You wouldn't want to leave them out in the sun like this for very long because there's a water content to these. See how they're shinier than the agate? And it'll turn into chert, like the bottom right here. So this has been exposed to the elements for longer, but this originally came out of the earth as a uh, water and silica together. And there's still water in the, the uh, crystal structure. Now the green one is the most rare to find in this area. I was pretty lucky to find that. Too many of these around. Good luster. Color isn't too strong. It's a little bit pale, but slightly green. And these are all just, you know, the range of different colors that you get from iron oxides. This opal here can show you that. A little bit of purple is a little bit of carnelian. And uh, these are just iron oxides, all of these. Even the purple, that's just iron oxide. Something in this other sand, you could tell from the video, the area had this white sand and there's something in that white sand that's really soaking in and turning purple. So whatever that white stuff is, there goes the juice. The black agate, that's something different too. When you get into there and you cut one of these, they stink. So I think it's more petroleum based. Uh, that's just my idea. And this rock, it didn't even come from there, right? That came from the fill rock. And it didn't even seem like it was totally rose quartz. I could see little garnets in there. So I think it's garnet quartz. 